Welcome back guys. Thanks again so much for stopping by at the channel. At the very least, you guys want to support the channel, hit the like button. It would be much appreciated. Thank you so much for that. So I really jumped the gun. If you watched that last video, by the way, that's almost hitting 3,000 likes. If you can go back to that video, hit the like button. We're gonna go ahead and do a tug of war, White Max versus Old Red. It's gonna be really epic. So make sure you guys hit that. I'm begging you, go back to that video and hit the like button. Jump the gun. I ended up buying a new sending unit from an LB7, which is a 04 sending unit. And the truck that I'm currently driving is a 05. So my thought process on this one would be to put a LB7, a 04 sending unit in the fuel tank in hopes to correct the fuel gauge. So I don't know if you guys know this, but my fuel gauge is sitting backwards right now on this truck. So given that it's an 04 with an 04 computer, I figured if I was to put a 04 sending unit in the tank, we'll go ahead and reverse the polarity and get it back on track. So what I ended up doing is I ended up purchasing one and I totally forgot to put it in the tank when the bed was off. Fortunately, in this video today, I have to pull the bed and we have to put a new sending unit in this truck. So let's hope I don't scratch nothing, break a window. One man show, I'm gonna pull the bed by myself and put it back on and hopefully everything works. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And then in other news, we went ahead and transported the Victory Max, the giveaway truck, back to Ryan's diesel service. Uh, Mark and Ryan, they came back here and they picked it up with their dually flatbed and they transported it back and it made it back safely. So December 9th is the last day that you guys can get your entries in, which is coming up really, really soon. Currently the fuel gauge is running at three quarters of a tank. We've been doing a lot of driving. We're headed to the gas station right now. We're gonna put diesel in the tank and then let's see where the actual level is at that point, which I guarantee you it's gonna read backwards because right now I'm probably sitting just a little bit above E. So diesel is at $2.60, not bad. All right, we're all filled up. Let's see what the tank reads now. So it went from three quarters of a tank to basically looking like it's on E. So we need to figure this out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bed again and we'll go ahead and put a new sending unit in it and let's see what happens. Magnetic flathead shop screwdriver. Very cool, you can actually clip it to your you know, your uniform at work or you know, just throw it in your toolbox, but very multi-purpose. Sometimes these connections actually stick. Just if you unclip it there, you should be able to pry it back like that. Definitely leave a link in the description to pick up one of these awesome screwdrivers. I only have a few of them left, but uh, very cool for the toolbox for sure. Very handy. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Okay, definitely not happy. Um, that LB7 sending unit is not the right size for the LOI or the 05 body fuel tank. So unfortunately, I have to take it back and I'll get back with you guys, but mm, man, this is just not working in my favor right now. For some reason in my brain, I thought that the fuel tanks would be the same exact fuel tanks from an 01 to a 2010 at least. But, all right, back to the drawing board. I'm gonna head back to the auto parts store. I'll go ahead and switch it out for an actual 05 one, but that's not gonna fix my problem. But either way, let's go ahead and do that right now. This is hours later in the day, so here we go. So this is a different sending unit, and what happened, and, I, and it's my fault, I'm human, and I mess up just like everyone else. So if you guys wanna dislike it, you know, it is what it is. But, but this right here is the stock sending unit for an LOI Duramax. And what happened was, is when I picked up the LB7 sending unit, I suspected that that would fit on the LLY tank or the 05 tank. The circumference of that tank in that hole right there where the sending unit fits is actually a lot larger than the 04, if you follow me. So that's what happened here. So what I'm trying to tell you is 
I went back to the auto parts store. I returned that other sending unit and I picked up one. Now you're probably wondering why did you buy one when you could have just reused your old one. Let me show you why. That is disgusting. It's like putting on a dirty pair of underwear. I can't do it. So I spent the coin and I ended up buying one of these instead. The other one was a lot cheaper. This one was $100 more. Then it begs the question, is it gonna fix the fuel gauge? So I hope so, I doubt it. We'll go ahead and plug everything in. Watch till the end of the video. I'm gonna put the bed back on. We'll turn the key, whatever. I don't think it's gonna affect anything. And the engine control module is from an 04 Duramax, so it's all out of whack. But on a brighter note, I did talk to the individual, I got off the phone with him, the person that actually was able to tune my truck when I had the truck tuned, the LB7 tuned. I talked to him and he said that he's gonna be able to reverse that with tuning. So I'll be able to see what my fuel gauge actually is. But yes, yeah, very aggravating. Let's go ahead and get this done. Let's put the bed back on the truck. Let's go ahead and finish this up here. If you've never done this before, it's extremely easy if the bed's off, but I'd much rather pull the bed if I have the means to with the skid steer. This is actually dropping the tank because I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier to pull the bed than it is to drop the tank. Not only that, just there's more issues involved like replacing straps and all kinds of other stuff. I'd rather not mess with it. Not only that, I don't have a hoist. Just out of curiosity, again, this is stupid for me to say this because it's probably not going to fix the problem. We have to get tuning in order for this to read correctly. But it makes you wonder. Nope, it's the same. But either way, we're gonna get this fixed. The solution is that we're gonna go ahead and get it retuned and we're gonna get this problem right here fixed. Tank is full and it's showing that we're almost at a quarter of a tank. It, it, so this is totally, totally out of whack. Now for the sketchy part, let's go ahead and put this bed back on the frame and hopefully we don't blow back window out or scratch something or destroy the new awesome bed that we just put on the truck. So let's do this. It actually wasn't too bad. I'm getting good at this. Look at that, one shot, one kill. So we have it on, I'll go ahead and bolt everything in. We won't bore you with that, that's pretty easy. And then um, put the tailgate back on. Yeah, I was pretty frustrated with this whole situation about, you know, having the bed off when we first did it with the wife and I and not being able to replace the setting unit. But at this point, I'm glad that I have everything done correctly. But at the end of the day, the fuel gauge still isn't reading correctly, but we will get to it and I will keep you guys updated. And another thing to mention with the GMC Victory Max, what we're doing with that is I'm ordering more parts for it. We're gonna make it even better. Now again, I have to say, I do appreciate the overwhelming support for everybody who has already entered in to win that truck. And good luck to everybody. The best thing about my channel is that I'm not a giant YouTuber, I'm not huge. So the entries aren't as numerous as if like a larger YouTuber would be doing a giveaway, you know, with one of their vehicles. So the chances of you winning this thing is pretty high. But not only do you have a chance to win this thing, but again, it's gonna be a good opportunity to give back to the Wounded Warriors. Wounded Warrior program is who we're gonna be giving back to, as well as helping out disabled or wounded vets. And that's the biggest thing right now. I did receive a Purple Heart in the Army myself. I was wounded in combat, but I'm fine. I'm totally good. You know, of course I had some residual effects from it, but I'm, I'm good to go. So yeah, today it's just been very overwhelming. It's, it could be way worse. I could have already blown the motor up on my wife's truck. But uh, hey, uh, last video that I posted, 
go back to it, hit the like button if you haven't already done that because it's almost at 3,000 likes. If we can get that video to 3,000 likes, the wife and I, we're gonna go ahead and take both trucks, this truck and the red truck, both Duramaxes, and we're gonna see who wins this tug of war battle. So it'll be very interesting and I really wanna do it, but that last video's gotta hit 3,000 likes. Don't miss out on another episode. It's only getting better. We'll see you later. Go for it.